Welcome to the Zoe Show. I'm Zoe Hieronymus, broadcasting nationwide with the Liberty Works Radio Network. If you'd like to join the program, call 1-800-922-6680, a toll-free call at one 888 1787 and by car phone, a free call for so on subscribers at star sign 9226. You know, life to me is always mysterious, but at the same time, if you look around, always revealing. This per- portion of the program, we are joined by muralist Mike McNeely, whose 12-story painting of Lady Liberty on the side of a building in L.A. has become the heated subject of a court case. Now, I mention it because I'm the creator myself of the very name used by the radio network I am part of, Liberty Works. I am also the wife and creative partner of a muralist myself, so I found it interesting that it once both delightful and surprising that two themes in my life, a life dedicated to symbolic art and liberty for the republic, that I'd find a news story that embodied both these elements with such precision. With that simply as my effort to decipher the events in our lives or my life, let us welcome to the Zoe Show the central figure in this story, artist, muralist, and civic activist, Mike McNeely. Welcome to the Zoe Show, Mike. Wow, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Look, give our audience a brief history of what your profession, in this case, as a muralist, has to do with our Bill of Rights. Well, I've, uh, I'm an artist, and I do a lot of um, what either public service or just murals that um, reflect uh, beliefs. But it still works. I work to Washington, D.C., as well as uh, Los Angeles, and before Memorial Day and the Fourth of July would be a fitting tribute to uh, the veterans uh, to uh, paint a uh, large mural of the Statue of Liberty. The building is uh, right across the street from the National Cemetery, and we have the support of the director of that cemetery as well. And (laughs) all of a sudden, out of nowhere, uh, eight hours into painting, we had uh, eight policemen and city officials and stop painting the Statue of Liberty or go to jail. And that sort of started everything. And what they're arguing is what? What did you do that earned you the visitation from the police? Well, we have, uh, there's ordinances in Los Angeles that um, I believe are unconstitutional. And they are, um, they require an artist to get the prior approval of the council person in that district. In this case, it's, um, and I didn't make his name up, his name is Pure. Yeah, I think all of us who have read the story find much interest in that symbolic relevance. Right. And um, before you even have the right to apply for a permit to put up a mural in the city of Los Angeles, you must go to him first to get his approval. If he disapproves, then you don't even have the right to apply. Well, the, the Supreme Court has held that uh, that that's called prior restraint, and that's unconstitutional. And they haven't, uh, they don't seem to see it the same way that we see it, but uh, the Supreme Court ruled that back in uh, 1969 in, in cases that involved civil rights marches back in Birmingham, Alabama. I don't want to go too deep into it, but basically you needed, uh, they needed the permission of the local sheriff back in the 60s to uh, get permission to even uh, apply for the permit to march. Needless to say, in the 60s, you could never get a permit to uh, march for civil rights uh, back in Birmingham, Alabama, with the, uh, the permission of that local sheriff. So they were arrested, and when it went to the Supreme Court, it was upheld that uh, that was unconstitutional and amounted to prior restraint. Right, because in your case, as in many municipalities, it gives the right of censorship to an individual or a board without, in this case, you had the approval of the building owner, and even the building owner now stands perhaps charged with misdemeanors. Um, And I want to encourage my audience, if you'd like to see the mural, because there's a really surprising element to it, go to www.LibertyMural.com, www.LibertyMural.com. Explain to our audience what you did after they said, all right, Mike, you know, the building guy says, okay, you're set to go, everybody in the community loves it, but the councilman said, Mr. Fuhrer said you did not come and salute and ask his permission, and so he's made your life hell. Explain to them what you did, though, in the uh, in the wee early hours. Well, what um, what happened was this. Well, just to, to backtrack just for one moment, the city attorney of Los Angeles has charged me with five criminal charges. Each one can carry six months in jail. They've also charged the building owner with four criminal charges. 
that could carry the same uh, penalty as well as uh, fines. What what happened uh, on April 3rd of this year, this is a year, a little over a year later, I went to uh, meet with the councilman in person to um, hopefully come to some resolution to explain uh, my position. After that meeting, um, which obviously fell on deaf ears, uh, I went up uh, on April 9th with a couple of uh, friends of mine. We, uh, we put a censored banner across the face of liberty, something that I find... Uh, you know, it was very hard for me to do that, but I really felt that uh, I had to get the message across in a picture because it seemed like all the words weren't getting across. Right. And uh, what my goal is is to take down the censored banner because I think it's an affront to uh, to us as citizens of this great country and to especially something that represents liberty and was meant to be a tribute to veterans. I think it's a total affront that we have to do this in this country and be charged with criminal charges for painting the Statue of Liberty in the United States. It's it's outrageous. This isn't uh, Tiananmen Square. This isn't Iraq or Cuba. This is the United States. And there's something really wrong here. And uh, it's got to be changed. For those in my audience who, like myself, feel very passionate about our republic and the destiny some of us work so hard to preserve while the majority seem to delight in tearing it apart, is there anything we can do as individuals? Well, what... Um, on the website which you mentioned, there are links and phone numbers to uh, to uh, Fuhrer's office, and there's also to the city attorney's office. And I think it's important to let people, uh, uh, these uh, so-called elected officials, who, by the way, won't make any comments to the press right now, um, except they did make one comment. I've got to tell you this: this is it was made uh, last week to one of the local papers here. He's quoted as saying, in my district, people know better than to propose such things. I think they need to be reminded that they are elected. They're not ordained. And I think it's important, um, and we did post their links as well as their phone numbers on the website. So I think um, your viewer, I mean, your listeners' uh, input would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> All right. www.libertymural.com. I don't have your site open, so I can't give out those phone numbers. I will, though, during my next break, open it and get that for them. And in terms of your own experience, I mean, as I mentioned, my own husband has done murals all around Maryland and different parts of the nation. And so I am familiar with not only the physical, just the demands of the muralist to do these enormous walls that he has done as well. In terms of your own work as a muralist, why did you choose muraling? Well, uh, as an artist, I, I like to... Uh I just I like to work outside, and I like the scale of it, yeah. the large scale. I've done uh, the aircraft carrier Intrepid uh, in New York. I've done we've done murals at the Lincoln Memorial, at uh, the actual real Statue of Liberty. We've done it at the foot of the real Statue of Liberty. And by the way, I just want to mention this mural was painted for free. It was volunteered. The building owner volunteered his wall because we thought it, we thought it was a fitting tribute. And there's no. You know, I'm not looking for money, by the way, too. A lot of people have asked, are we looking for contributions? Please, I'm not looking for any contributions. This is this is strictly uh, something that we believe in, and it is the United States. We just want to be able to paint the Statue of Liberty. So. Well, I hope that my audience, I know that hopefully by your joining us, it will make a difference. www.libertymural.com. Mike, let's stay in touch and see what happens in the court. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, and God bless you.